episode of The Voyage Cast. In this episode, we learn about marriage and how to unstupefy yourself with five incredible tips that will change your life. Starting with number 11 in part 3 of the 5 tip series, maintain a positive attitude. This can go a long way in maintaining a happy and healthy marriage. Make an effort to focus on the positive aspects of your relationship and appreciate the good things your partner brings to your life. There is little need for you to badger your spouse with their faults and failings. Likely, Captain Obvious, they have heard it enough times from you before. Besides, noticing your partner's faults is far too easy. I mean, really, really easy. So take the challenge and see if you can find any positive that still exists or could be created. Number 12. Practice active listening. Active listening means truly paying attention to your partner when they speak and responding thoughtfully to what they have to say. Make an effort to bite your tongue, literally, if need be, so that you stop yourself from interrupting constantly like you typically do. Additionally, it is important to practice active listening during conversations with your partner, family, friends, co-workers, or any living soul around because you obviously need to learn the value of other people's thoughts and feelings. Number 13, keep the lines of communication open. It turns out communication isn't a one-time thing. So buckle up, soldier. It's a never-ending process. Make sure you're regularly checking in with each other and stay informed about your thoughts, feelings, and plans. This helps to build trust and avoid misunderstandings. Furthermore, if you're a man listening to this, women just like to talk. It helps them feel connected. So just go along with it and you'll be the bee's knees. No, your friends may hate you after a while as their wives will likely become jealous. Number 14, learn to manage conflict. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship, but it's important to learn how to manage it in a healthy way, like wearing gloves and other protective equipment. Avoid blaming, gaslighting, physical violence, verbal attacks, and emotional manipulations. Instead, focus on the obvious, finding solutions that work for the both of you. In this way, you'll feel greater connection and less exhaustion. Number 15. Remember to have fun. A successful marriage doesn't have to be all work and no play, which would surely be some kind of hell. Make an effort to have fun together, whether it's through shared hobbies, GTA, trying new experiences like cage fighting, or simply enjoying each other's company, if it is possible for you to get past yourself. Having fun helps to keep the spark alive and maintain strong emotional connection. Thanks for listening to this three-part series of five tips for a better marriage. For the math majors out there, that equals 15. Anyways, if you practice these tips, your marriage will likely yield a more fruitful, energized, and connected relationship. And if you really want to be cooking with gas, here's a bonus tip. Practice these tips for the rest of your natural life. But keep in mind, practice requires literal effort. So get off your phone, turn off the tube, and stand from the couch. Get a babysitter, and stop being so damn lazy. Thanks for listening, and you're welcome for all these wonderful tips.